Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, we're going to talk about Emacs abbreviation mode. We're going to talk about how we can use it for programming, how we could use it for checking spelling or correcting spelling errors, rather, and how we can use it to take acronyms and span them into our full word expansion for the acronym. Okay, so to turn on abbreviation mode, you're going to do Alt X or Meta X, and you're going to type ABB abbrev dash mode. Hit enter. And you'll see that you get the message a brief mode enabled in the current buffer. Okay, so if I want to expand an abbreviation, I can first, well, I first have to define the abbreviation. So if I type CIA and I want to hit a space and expand that to Central Intelligence Agency, well, nothing's going to happen at this point. I have to define an abbreviation. So if I want to add a global abbreviation, I can do Control X either A or dash or AIL uh, for uh, AIL is local. I mess that up. I'll fix that on my markdown document. AIG is global. So let's do a global one. So let's do control X AIG. And at the bottom here, it's going to say, what's the global expansion for CIA? And I'm going to type central intelligence agency and hit enter. And it's going to expand it. So CIA is the, now if I type CIA and hit a space, it expands it. Okay. CIA is the Central Intelligence Agency. Uh, yeah. So that's how you add them. Now, if I wanted to add a local one, let's say FBI, and I would do Control X AIL for local. Uh, and it just says mode expansion for FBI. Um, that's the federal. Bureau of uh, Intelligence, I think, is what it stands for. So, uh, or maybe it's investigation. Um, anyway, so I, I can do that. I can also, let's say I want to type Federal Bureau of Investigation. Let me edit that. Uh, so let's edit my abbreviations, abbreviations here. And we have Federal Bureau of Intelligence. That's the first abbreviation. So let me go forward here. Uh, I think that's supposed to be Federal Bureau of Investigation. So let's change this to investigation here. And now let's do Control X, Control S to save that. Uh, you notice it saves it in the .emacs.d uh, folder. Okay, let's do Control X D to get back to Dear Ed, and let's go back to editing. We were editing the text file here, so let's actually uh, mark this region. We'll go do a Control A to go back to the beginning and delete it. Now I'll type FBI and hit a space, and you'll see I've edited it, so it says Federal Bureau of Investigation, which I believe is correct. Uh, that stands, or uh, that is what. Actually, no, let's put has the acronym uh, FBI. Now, if I hit a period, it's going to expand it again. But if I go back here and I do Alt X and I do the command unexpand abbreviation, and I'll just hit a tab to autocomplete it, it's going to change it back to FBI. So I can unexpand it or I can turn off abbreviation mode if I don't want to use those abbreviations. Okay, so that's one other thing I can do. Um, all right, so um, I saved the abbreviations in the dot abbreviation underscore def file, or it's actually in this version of Emacs, I believe it's just, let me change this, abbreviation uh, underscore def. So let's actually uh, save this, and let's go to our dear Ed, and let's just... Go up and take a look here um, at, let's go to our .emacs.d here. And you'll see it's just a brief underscore defs, okay? Now let's go back to our editing here and go into our markdown here, okay? I have the font a little bit large, so it kind of does um, make it a little bit hard to see that, but that's the folder. Um, now we can turn this on by default. So let me go over here to this buffer here, and let's go to Dear Ed, 
and go up and we'll go into our dot emacs here go all the way to the bottom here and we can type in these three commands here to get abbreviation mode on by default so i'm going to do set q dash default uh, and then do a space and do a brief mode and then a t that'll load it automatically and then below that i'll do read a brief file and then we're going to do where the file is so in quotes we'll do the tilde and then we want to actually do it in the dot emacs dot d i'll fix that and then it's the brief underscore defs file and then below that we want to set q save a breeze t okay and let's write that let's quit out of emacs here uh we want to save the text file yes um save abbreviations so that's the other thing it's going to ask you i'm going to say yes okay now if i start back up emacs okay and let's go to full screen let's get back our editing dot markdown here let's do a split screen here and let's get back our abbreviations.txt here um, now you'll see the font is smaller i'm going to adjust that in a moment but if i type cia and hit a space i've got the abbreviation turned on by default let me get that font larger larger i'm going to toggle the menu bar mode here and just go up to my options, go to set default font. Now I have it smaller for when I'm just doing it by myself. That's why when it restarted, uh, it was smaller. So let's jump this up so you can see it. Okay, so we can do that. Um, <clears throat> we can also list the abreaves, and I'm gonna get rid of this, the menu here. We can also list the abreaves. So if I do Alt X and do list abreaves, uh, then it's going to, list the abreaves here let me do control x o to get over here and actually let me just show you this because this is kind of crammed so i'm going to take the mouse and drag this window over a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer um, okay so we have our two abbreviations if i wanted to add more abbreviations let's get some more abbreviations let's go back over here um, and let's add some abbreviations here i brought up a blog uh, for teaching abbreviations so ela english language arts uh, ell let's do ell english language learner so i'm going to do ell and then do uh, control x aig because i want a global expansion so i'm going to type english language learner Okay, hit enter and it's gonna expand is ELL. Now, even if I do it on lowercase, it still expands it. Now, if I go back, put a period here, let's go back a few and then I can unexpand it. If I can type that right, unexpand uh, a brief, then, then I'll get it to uh, you know, back to normal, okay? All right, so now if I go, over here uh, let me go over to the other editor over here go back um, and uh, that's not what i wanted to do sorry um, actually what i want to do is just alt x and list abreaves okay so now we see that we have ell in there as well and i actually believe it did did ask me, it said it was changed on disk. Do you want to reload it? And I, I just went ahead and went into Dear Ed. I haven't had a ton of coffee this morning just yet. Okay, so let's see. Uh, anything else I want to talk about in this video? Let's go back to my markdown and see. So we talked about putting it in your .emacs. Now, oh yeah, I want to talk about programming because you could use this for programming and spelling. So let's go and do that. Okay, so uh, for programming, Let's say um, I want something for JavaScript. And um, a lot of times I'll type document.querySelectorAll, right? So let's just do QSA and let's do Control X, Add IG, or 
AIG for global expansion, and I'm going to type document.query selector all. Okay? And so every time I type QSA and hit a space, I get document.query selector all, which would be pretty nice, right? Because um, I can do something down here like const, uh, let's say list item equals uh, QSA and just do, you know, just expand it out like that. So that's programming. So you can definitely come up with a bunch of different things. Um, we could do element by ID. So uh, get element by ID. So GI, let's do, uh, let's do alt X AI, uh, no, not alt X, uh, control X AIG. And we'll do uh, document dot get element by ID. And so we can do it for that too. So we could say like const uh, first paragraph, something like that equals um, now what is it? GIE document uh, dot get element by ID. And we could do like maybe we have an ID called first paragraph or something like that. Uh, and, and we can quickly expand it for programming. So that's that's one thing you could use it for programming if you so choose. Um, and the other thing is, is spelling error. So let's say I typically, if I have the word quiet, I typically misspell it as uh, Q-U-E-I-T. Uh, so Q it. So, and I, I wanna correct myself without having to turn on I spell or fly spell. Well, what I can do, is I can uh, define this as an abbreviation. So I can type in the misspelling. So Q uh, it, and then do control X, AIG or AIL. Uh, and I wanna retype this as quiet, okay? And it'll change it for me. So anytime I do this misspelling, uh, so it was Q it, it just automatically changes it to quiet. So that's, that's one way we can quickly correct ourselves with spelling errors using abbreviation mode. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is turning off abbreviation mode. So you can either just uh, do Alt X and then do abbrev mode and you can disable it. Do Alt X to, uh, sorry, Alt X to, and return it on. So you can toggle it on and off, but you can also do Alt X and then kill all uh, a briefs. And now if I type like CIA, it's just gonna, it's just gonna, it's not gonna expand it. If I type G I forget element by ID, it's not gonna expand it. So it's not gonna expand any of those abbreviations. If I want to turn it back on, uh, then all my abbreviations are actually killed at this point. So I would have to re-enable. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like? Uh, I also want to thank you for watching and uh, I'm going to end it at this point. So I hope to see you in the next one.